Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sareyaz. So I was doing the paper 5070, paper 11 for the year summer 2023. So I'm done till question number 10. So let's continue from question number 11. Concentrated aqueous sodium chloride is electrolyzed using inert electrodes which row shows what happens in this electrolysis and why it happens a change occurring in a what is the change the change is oxygen is discharged at the anode so in case of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride you can't get oxygen at anode so this is wrong b during electrolysis, the pH of the electrolyte increases. pH increase means there must be higher number of OH negative ions. Explanation. The electrolysis in aqueous solution involves the reduction of H positive ions. This is correct because this involves definitely involves a reduction of H positive ions. H positive ions uh, get reduced. That is gain electron to produce hydrogen gas so this looks correct to me for your convenience i am reading the other statements solid sodium is produced at the cathode this is wrong you can't get sodium at cathode because uh, you are having aqueous sodium chloride not molten sodium chloride so this is also wrong d the products stay the same if the aqueous sodium chloride is replaced by molten sodium chloride. This is wrong. The reason is that, that in case of molten sodium chloride, you will get sodium at cathode and chlorine at anode. Furthermore, in order to get chlorine at anode, you must have either molten sodium chloride or concentrated sodium chloride. You can't get chlorine in case of dilute aqueous sodium chloride. So this is also incorrect. B will be the right choice for this question number 12 which statements about the energy changes during a chemical reaction are correct number one the activation energy ea is a maximum energy the colliding particles must have in order to react react this is incorrect statement number two during an endothermic reaction thermal energy is taken in from the surrounding leading to decrease in the temperature of the surrounding this is correct statement number three the making of chemical bonds is an exothermic process this is also correct because uh, making is exothermic so both two and three are the correct statements so c will be the right answer for this question number 13 two gases react inside a sealed vessel which change in conditions would increase the rate of reaction? Number one, increasing the pressure inside the vessel. This is correct. Number two, increasing the temperature inside the vessel. This is also correct. Number three, increasing the volume of the vessel. This is wrong. The reason is that if you increase the volume, then the distance between the particles of the gases will also increase and they will take more time to collide with each other. This reduces the rate of reaction. So B will be the, will be the right answer for this question. 14, catalyst change the rate of chemical reactions. Which statements correctly describe the effect of adding a catalyst to a reaction? Number one, all reactant particles have more energy and move faster. This is incorrect because the catalyst decreases the activation energy of the reacting particles. Number two, the activation energy is lowered. This is correct. Number three, more reacting particles collide with enough energy to react. This is also correct. So C will be the right answer for 14. Number 15. The equation for a reaction in the contact process is shown. 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3. Delta H is minus 197. The conditions used are 450 degrees centigrade, 2 atmospheric pressure and catalyst. What will be the effects when the temperature is reduced to 250 degrees centigrade and the catalyst is removed? Now you have removed the catalyst and you have also decreased the 
temperature so the rate of reaction will definitely decrease so either b is correct or d is correct what about the temperature if you decrease the temperature what will happen to the percentage of so3 in the equilibrium mixture forward reaction is exothermic so it will move to the right hand direction so percentage will definitely increase which means that d will be the right answer 16 universal indicator contains several dyes the reaction uh, reversible reaction of one dye ind oh is shown int oh color x plus h positive ion equals gives int plus which is color y plus h2o liquid a few drops of universal indicator solution are added to 50 centimeter cube of water a few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid are added to the solution which row describes what happens when the acid is added so what will happen to the ph ph will decrease definitely you have higher concentration of h means ph will decrease so either a is correct or b is correct and the equilibrium is shift to to the right hand side so you have a, a equilibrium shifting to color y so b will be the right answer for this question number 17 the combustion of methane is a redox reaction this is a reaction combustion reaction of methane this is ch4 methane plus 2o2 gives 2co2 plus 2h2o which statement about this reaction is correct a only carbon is oxidized b only carbon is reduced c only oxygen is oxidized d only oxygen is reduced if you look at this equation so carbon is oxidized you see this carbon has gained oxygen furthermore if you look at the oxidation number of carbon so the oxidation number of carbon is also increased in ch4 the oxidation number of carbon is minus 4 but in case of co2 oxidation number changes to plus 4 as carbon is less electronegative than oxygen so this is the correct statement what about the other statement only carbon is reduced this is wrong C only oxygen is oxidized. This is also wrong because oxygen is not oxidized. Oxygen is reduced both from O2 to CO2 or O2 to H2O. So D is also correct. Only oxygen is reduced. The correct answer according to your marking scheme is D. 18. Which method of of preparation of magnesium sulfate is an example of a redox reaction. Redox reaction is the one in which there is a loss or gain of electron or change in oxidation number. Loss and gain of electron change in oxidation number. So when we say oxidation change in oxidation number, it means increase or decrease in oxidation number. So if you look at all these equations, only equation A will be the correct one. The reason is that in on the reactant side we have Mg plus H2SO4. On the product side, we are having MgSO4 plus H2. So on the reactant side, the oxidation number on magnesium is zero, but on the product side it will be plus two. What about hydrogen? On the reactant side, it's plus one. On the product side, it will be zero. So magnesium is oxidized and hydrogen is reduced. None of the other equation shows this. So A will be the right answer in this case. 19. Samples of HCl and HNO3 are tested using universal indicator paper. The sample of HCl has a pH of 4 and the sample of HNO3 has a pH of 2, which statement is correct? A, HCl is a weak acid and HNO3 is a strong acid. This is wrong because both of these are strong acid. Number B, HNO3 has a lower mole formula mass than HCl. It has nothing to do with the pH. C, the HNO3 is more concentrated than HCl. This looks correct to me. The reason is that if there are more number of H positive ions, then the pH will be lower. So C looks correct to me. 
for your convenience, I am going to read the last statement. The HCl has dissociated more than HNO3. This is wrong because both of these are strong acid. So both uh, both of these dissociated completely. So only C will be the right answer in this case. Twenty. Which two substances react to form a salt and water only? This is an uh, easy one. Uh, you only have to see the products. Uh, for A, when you are reacting aqueous sodium carbonate plus dilute sulfuric acid, you will get three products. Salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. This is wrong. B, aqueous sodium chloride and aqueous silver nitrate. This looks substitution reaction. So, or double displacement reaction. So, this is also wrong. We can't get salt and water. What about C? Aqueous sodium hydroxide and dilute ethanoic acid. So, this is a reaction between acid and alkali. You will get salt and water. In this case, the salt will be sodium ethanoid and water will be the other product. So, this looks correct to me. D. Zinc and dilute hydrochloric acid. This will produce salt and hydrogen gas. Salt plus hydrogen gas this is wrong so only c will be the right choice for 20 21 which uh, 21 the elements are arranged in groups and periods in the periodic table which row is correct a group determined by the number of electrons in the outer shell this is correct period determined by the number of occupied shells this is also correct Elements in the periodic table are arranged by increasing proton number. This is also correct. So A seems correct to me. For your convenience, I am going to read the other statement. Group determined by the number of occupied shells. This is wrong. So no need to re read other statements. Group determined by the number of electrons outer shell. This is correct. So period determined by the number of occupied shells. This is also correct. The elements in the periodic table are arranged by increasing mass number. This is incorrect. So these two are incorrect so far. D. Group determined by the number of occupied shells. This is incorrect. So no need to read other statements. A is the right answer for this one. 22. Sodium, potassium and rubidium are in group 1 of the periodic table. Chlorine, bromine uh, and iodine are in group 7. Which statement is correct? A. Bromine displaces chlorine from an aqueous solution of sodium chloride. This is wrong. Because bromine is below chlorine. If you compare the position, bromine is below chlorine. It can't displace chlorine. B. Iodine is discharged as a negative electrode when concentrated aqueous potassium iodide is electrolyzed. Iodine gets discharged, but it will get discharged at the positive electrode, not negative electrode. So these two are wrong. C. Rubidium has a greater tendency to form positive ions than potassium. This looks correct to me because if you look at the reactivity series in group 1, it increases down the group. Reactivity increases down the group. So, which means that rubidium has a greater tendency as compared to potassium to form positive ion. So, D, sodium and potassium both react with water, but the reaction is more violent with sodium. No, sodium is below potassium. Look at the position of sodium. Sodium is above potassium, so potassium will be more reactive. Potassium will definitely have more violent reaction. So, C will be the right answer for this question. 23, which statement about transient elements and their compounds is correct? A. Copper 2 oxide catalyzes the conversion of sulfuric acid to copper 2 sulfate. This is wrong. It's not catalyzing this reaction. It's reacting. B. Iron allows hydrogen and nitrogen to react at low temperature. This looks correct to me because in this reaction, iron is acting as a catalyst. C. Nickel increases the rate of reaction between hydrogen and saturated hydrocarbons. Nickel definitely increases the rate of reaction, but it's between hydrogen and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Not saturated hydrocarbons. So this is wrong. D. Vanadium 5 oxide speeds up the oxidation of sulfur to sulfur dioxide. Yes, it will speed up. It's acting as a catalyst, but it speeds up the reaction of sulfur dioxide with oxygen. Produce sulfur Trioxide. So only B will be the right answer in this case. 24. Three statements about the properties of metals are shown. Number one, all metals conduct electricity. This is correct. Number two, all metals have two electrons in their innermost shell. This is also 
correct three all metals have high melting point this is wrong the reason is that group 1 have low melting points and mercury also exists in the liquid state at room temperature and pressure so which statements are correct only one and two so a will be the right answer in this case 25 which statements about metals and their uses are correct number one aluminium is used to make overhead electrical cables because it has a low density this is correct aluminium is used to make food containers because it is resistant to corrosion this is also correct number 3 copper is used to make electrical wiring because it's ductile this is correct so d will be the right answer as all these three statements are correct press like and share my videos for more videos subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon